Hello YouTube fam! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Tina and I make videos on lifestyle, home, and DIY projects every single week. I hope you guys are doing well today and are ready to jump into some DIY projects. And I really want to create some pieces for my living room since I'm working on that makeover right now. My big goal before the year ended was to finish all my common areas, so we're going to make that happen. We of course need some new decor, so we're going to do that today. And before we get started, I want to thank Redecor for sponsoring today's video. If you're watching this video, you probably love home decor and interior interior design like I do. So this app is really perfect for all of you guys out there. Redecor is a free app for home design lovers and there are home design challenges on there every single day. And I love playing it because it genuinely is making me a better designer. I feel like I've been putting myself in a little bit of a box. Playing on the app has allowed me to expand my design skills and I really love just mixing and matching different textures and finishes and colors that I wouldn't think to put together. It's helping me look at home design in a different way and that is definitely translating into my home. I mentioned in a previous video that since moving into our new home, it's been a lot of fun at just experimenting and figuring out what my style is. So playing all these challenges has really taken me out of my comfort zone. One of my goals for next year is actually to decorate someone else's home. So if you're like me and you dream of decorating other people's spaces, this app is so much fun. All the challenges are so different. So I've seen some really beautiful bathroom designs. There's also like a Hawaiian island one right now. And I think it's so cool just seeing how differently people decorate the same exact space. And basically your goal when doing these challenges is to create the best possible room And once you submit your room your group with nine other people and other users get to vote on that and then you rank My personal best so far has been second place So I am currently in a couple of challenges right now So hopefully I will get first place And I think it'd be so cool if I actually face one of you guys in the challenges So if you're interested in checking it out You can download Redecor for free with my link in the description box below Hopefully I will see some of you on Redecor and now let's go ahead and get into the first project. So for this project, I wanted to make one of those hanging bowls. I used to have one in LA and I thought it was so beautiful. I did not bring one here with us, but I thought we could DIY it. I've had this fiber brush here for a while and this is actually used to make chairs, but I thought this would be the perfect material to make the bowl with. And this is basically like twisted up craft paper or something like that. Someone can correct me in the comments, but it seems like a very durable material and will be perfect for this project. And I also finally got a new glue gun. I'm so excited to not use my little $5 one anymore. This is just the Gorilla Glue one. I still am on the hunt for the perfect glue gun. So if you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. But yeah, that's all you really need. So let's get started. Alright guys, to start this project, I am first bending the fiber brush into shape and this is going to help make it more flexible. Then I'm adding a dab of hot glue and holding it into place. It's going to be a lot harder to glue this without folding it first, so I would totally suggest to do that, especially since this is not a super, super flexible material. Then from there, I'm forming a circle by spiraling the fiber brush and gluing it around and around. It's gonna be a little bit harder to start it at first since it's so tiny, but it does get easier with the more rows that you do. You can make this as big or small as you like it to be, and I'm gonna glue it until it reaches about six and a half inches. Traditionally, these hanging bowls are made with woven raffia and are stitched together, but I have yet to find a tutorial on how to make it that way, so I have no idea how they do it. So if any of you guys have a resource for that, I would greatly appreciate it, and I definitely wanna try my hand at it but this hot glue version is an easy dupe. My only suggestion is to use a little bit of glue at a time so that it doesn't seep too much in between each layer. Now we're ready to start the bowl shape, so instead of putting my glue on the side of the fiber, it's gonna be slightly above, and this is gonna help us get that 3D shape. And basically, for the first few rows, I'm going to continue placing the fiber on top of itself until it starts to build it out. Once it gets wider, you can go ahead and put the glue more on the side, and this is gonna build it out really nicely. You can alter the shape of this depending on where you put your glue if you want this to look more like a bowl or more like a dish. I've seen both styles used as decor and I think both look amazing in a gallery wall or layered with other baskets and wicker bowls. This is looking pretty good now, so I'm going to go ahead and snip the end of it, and to finish it off, I'm gluing it to the back of the bowl. 
Okay, this is looking pretty cute. I'm very happy with the shape. It looks pretty good. I am gonna be real with you guys because the back does have a lot of glue, so that doesn't really bother me. But if you have any spots that are really sticking out, what you could do is just take the glue gun, make sure that it's hot, and without squeezing it, just put the hot tip on top of the glue and that way it melts it down a little bit. And that's a really helpful trick just to flatten those out. I also wanna quickly plug this silicone mat that I've been using. This has been really helpful for my projects. It protects my desk. It's also really easy to clean. I don't know why I didn't get one of these sooner, but I have a feeling that I'm gonna get a whole bunch of these and it's just been so handy to have. So definitely would recommend that to you guys. You could totally stop here and hang up the project like it is, but I want to add a pattern. So I'm just gonna take some acrylic paint and put on my design. So I took inspiration from this bowl that I found online and I'm using that as a template to paint my own design. I'm using chalk here to help me map it out and to get it started. For the outermost layer, it's going to be these little V's and then the rest of it is basically going to be kind of a plus sign shape. I'm skipping a few rows in between each one of these and this is going to create a really beautiful radial pattern. Now I'm going to paint in my design with some good old acrylic paint and for this particular one, I used a flat brush to ensure that I would get all of the straight edges. I went with a white color to keep it more minimal, but I also think this would look amazing in black. And there are a lot of fun designs that you can do, whether it's organic, geometric, or more colorful. You could even paint or spray paint the fiber brush a new color as a backdrop for the design, and I think that would look really cool. But I'm curious to know what design you guys would make for this project, so let me know in the comments below. Now that we're all done, I'm gonna go ahead and just flip it over and then put on a piece of twine to create a hanging loop. I think this project came out amazing and it's gonna look so cute. This will add an interesting 3D element to any gallery wall and I'm very excited to hang it up somewhere in the house. And if you wanted to, you could also use this as table decor or a functional piece to store things. All right, so for this project, we're going to be using some wooden dowels. These are the shorter ones from Dollar Tree. These are six inches each, which is perfect for my 11 by 14 canvas over here. Whenever I'm at Dollar Tree, I like to stock up on these. And if you haven't heard already, Dollar Tree just increased all the prices to $1.25. I know that some people were kind of upset with the price increase, but honestly, I still love Dollar Tree and I hope they come out with better items. And I will continue to buy these dowels because they are so handy. I have the short ones and then I also have the long ones. So depending on how large you want this project to be. You could also use the large version as well. And to get started, I'm just gonna paint all the dowels with acrylic paint. So I'm first painting the ends of the dowels since those are gonna be exposed with the design. And then for a few of them, I'm going to paint the entire dowel since these are gonna go on the top and the bottom. And to make your life easier for this project and also for it to go by faster, I would totally suggest to just use a spray paint for them. But I did not have one on hand in the color that I wanted, so that's why I'm using acrylics, but spray paint is definitely the way to go for this. While those were drying, I'm adding in a bit of texture to the canvas with some gesso. And I'm using a palette knife to spread that onto the canvas and this is gonna give it a really nice layered look. I love the slight dimension that it gives the background, especially since I'm going to keep the background white. This is just a really nice way to add some interest. 
So I just had a late lunch while I was waiting for these to dry and it is so dark outside already. I am so glad that the days are getting longer now. But besides the point, these are all set and ready to go. I realized that I did not have to paint all of it. I just basically had to paint one end. So these do not look the best right now. So when I glue them on, it's gonna look a little bit messy, but trust the process. I just really didn't wanna waste paint, especially since the backside of the dowel is not gonna be exposed. So I'm going to take the dowel that actually is all painted and this is gonna go on the top part and then also the bottom. So these are gonna be our top and bottom pieces. And basically I'm gonna make like a zigzag pattern. So each one that I place is going to be a little bit offset from the other. So I'm just gonna keep building it out. And it's basically going to be forming a V shape. So I'm putting these down until there are four staggered and then this last one's going to be the peak of that and then we're gonna start building downwards. This part right here is the shape that we're creating and now we're just gonna build it out the other way and this is gonna zigzag all the way down the canvas. So you guys can see that this is a symmetrical pattern and there are basically four dowels on each side of the peaks and I'm just gonna follow this pattern and zigzag it all the way down. And the nice thing about this pattern is that you have the option to hang it up vertically or horizontally so this is a very versatile design. Once I got it all mapped out, I used tape to create a border and this way I knew how wide and how tall I should glue everything down. You can use any type of adhesive for this step. I'm just using hot glue to keep it secure and also it will dry down super fast. And as I'm gluing each one down, I'm making sure that it matches the mirrored piece above it to keep things looking as even as possible. After everything is glued down, I'm gonna go ahead and just paint over the dowels. I had to do a couple of coats until it was all even. I feel like this paint was a little bit more on the thin side. So after that was all dried, our project is ready to go. This piece was super simple to make, but it totally looks like a high-end piece of art. I love how graphic the design is and the dowels give it a really nice three-dimensional look. Rusty brown is definitely one of my favorite colors to style with, so I cannot wait to put this in a gallery wall. Alright guys, for this last project we're creating a wall hanging with some macrame and I'm cutting out 40 inch pieces here. I'm using 3mm macrame cord for this project which I think is pretty thin and it gives us a more linear look which is exactly what I'm going for. We're going to attach it to the dowel rod with a basic cow hitch knot so all you need to do is to fold the macrame in half, place it over the rod and then pull the ends through the loop. I'm repeating this all the way across the dowel, and again, I'm using one of those longer Dollar Tree dowels for this, so this is a super affordable project as well. Now with a piece of twine, I'm knotting that on both ends of the dowel and this is what we're gonna use to hang up later. Once that's all in place, I'm flattening the macrame down by separating each one and then I'm going to use tape to just keep it flat. We're gonna cut the end of the macrame to create a V shape and I found the center point and just use some masking tape as a guide to cut it out. And after that initial cut, feel free to cut it down even more until you get the right look. So I want this to have a dip dye slash color block design on it. So we're going to use the masking tape again. And I basically have sectioned off where I want the color. And this is going to be about a third of the way up from the bottom. I'm going to be using acrylic paint for this step, but I've also seen people use dyes as well as watercolors to get a similar look. But I really wanted it to be a blunt line and not a faded or an ombre line. So watering down acrylic works really great for this. I love the look of this design because it incorporates the feel of a bohemian macrame wall hanging without any knots, so I think it looks a lot more minimal and also modern, especially with the black color block. So if you love macrame wall hangings but bohemian is not your style, this project is really perfect for you. 
And if you want to, you can go ahead and do a second coat of the paint just to make sure that it saturates the entire macrame cord. And once that's dry, you can go ahead and remove the tape to reveal our nice straight line. And now it's ready to be hung. This minimal but modern bohemian DIY wall hanging makes such a great statement piece and it was seriously so easy to make. I love how bold the black color block line contrasts against the natural color of the macrame. I definitely went for a more simple design for this project but I can imagine it in so many other colors and shapes for this DIY idea. I love how all those projects came out. They were simple and affordable, but look amazing. And I would love to know in the comments below which one was your favorite. For me, it's definitely a toss up between the hanging basket and the doll art. And I'm definitely putting them somewhere around the house. My living room makeover is coming up super soon. So don't forget to stay tuned for that. If you're inspired by this video and recreate any of the projects, don't forget to share them with me over on Instagram. And also give me a follow if you haven't already. I post on there every single day. And I just realized I haven't shared your projects in a while. So I will put them on the screen here. I cannot believe that it's been a full year. This is the last video of 2021. I quickly want to thank you all for being here and supporting my channel. It seriously means so much to me. The new year is going to bring so much more content. So I hope you're just excited as I am. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe down below so you can watch new videos every single week. And that is all for me today. Thank you so much for watching. Stay inspired and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!